Diane? Well, it's not often, Charlie, that you get to meet someone who's at the height of battle and everything is going well, and then you get to see them again when things don't go so well. We're going to take you back to meet again an Air Force captain nick nicknamed KC, and you'll learn why in just a moment. We met her back when the war had started and everything, as we say, was going well. But we learned that just recently, this week, she had to muscle her crippled jet back to safety after a mission over Baghdad was almost deadly. You'll remember we first met KC, as she prefers to be called, at an airbase near the Iraqi border a little over two weeks ago. She told me the KC stands for killer chick, and as one of the few female pilots flying combat missions in Iraq, she was brimming with confidence. We just give each other a little bit of encouragement. We're ready to get the fight on and give each other a little pump of fist in the air. And this week, we learned KC, who flies an A-10 Thunderbolt, also known as a warthog, was involved in a harrowing mid-air ambush over the skies of Baghdad. She spoke to our John Quinones shortly after her dramatic return to base on Monday. I, uh, heard a loud uh, bang, and uh, the jet rolled fairly violently to the left, and uh, knew immediately that I had been hit. Casey's plane was badly damaged, riddled with bullet holes, needing to land. Her choice, bail out over Baghdad or try to make it hundreds of miles back to base. No way I wanted to eject over Baghdad, so I wanted to get the aircraft under control and start uh, heading home. Still, the plane was literally on fire. The hydraulic system knocked out. She would have to fly the 51,000-pound plane manually, a technique so rarely needed with the durable warthogs. Pilots are barely trained to do it. Uh, we do it once in training. We uh, put the aircraft in manual reversion so we know what it feels like, but uh, we never practice landing it. Yet somehow, KC managed to keep the warplane in the air for nearly an hour until finally arriving back at the airbase, where she made, according to witnesses, a nearly perfect landing. It was such a relief to feel those wheels hit the ground and just smoothly roll out like a, any other normal landing. And to be far away from unfriendly fire, if only briefly. As a member of the 75th Squadron Tiger Sharks, her job is to protect the troops on the ground. And that didn't end with Monday's heroics. Within 24 hours, KC was back up in the hog, flying over Iraq, doing her job. Our job is to help those guys out on the ground. And when they need it, we're going to be there, even if it means taking some risks. KC, killer chick, cool chick. I'd say she's one of 114 active duty female pilots out of a total of close to 8,000 pilots in the U.S. military.